All right, KJ, as promised, yep. we're going to talk a little Patriots. And I think the big story coming out of Patriots camp was, number one, all the fights that they had with the, the Panthers this past <laughs> right. weekend, right. or past week, I should say. And also, yeah. what the hell is going on with their offense? Because I think everybody's wondering who's going to be calling the plays because we've seen Joe Judge on the sidelines. We've seen Matt Patricia on the sidelines. And let me tell you, none of these names are inspiring confidence. So the conversation throughout New England and, and shouts to those listening on 8.50 a.m. WEEI where you can hear the Daily Tip. Um, look, there are two schools of thoughts when it came into the season that in Bill We Trust, which you've heard probably a lot, which says that at the end of the day, trust Bill Belichick to get it done. But when Josh McDaniels took the job to go to the Raiders, you wondered like, okay, would Bill O'Brien leave Alabama to come back and be the offensive coordinator? Uh, that's not necessarily what they Nick Saban was trying to hear. Like, that's really great. You want him back. That's not going to happen. And that would have eased some minds in terms of developing Mac Jones. Look, you've got a relationship with Mac Jones because Mac Jones was at said Alabama. And so there would be some type of continuity there if Bill O'Brien returned. And Bill O'Brien's an offensive guy. When Bill O'Brien didn't come back, then there was just this chasm. And it felt like, I don't know, ask anybody who's come home after not finishing college. You know, they flunk out the first year and their posters are still on the wall and it, the room is still intact. Well, that's what it felt like with Matt Patricia and Joe Judge coming back. And so you're like, okay, Matt Patricia offers some type of insight maybe for the defense and maybe Joe Judge can help with some of the special teams that suffered last year. But then when you started hearing that, hey, these two were going to start competing or being looked at for the offensive coordinator position, you're like, huh? Like these guys have never been on the offensive side of the ball. And so if you go in this bill, we trust thing that you say, okay, well, if Belichick calls the plays when he was the head coach at Cleveland, he had no offensive coordinator, but he had an offensive guy, pretty much the de facto guy. This is not the situation. And so now it's starting to rear its ugly head in these practices. Now the practices have gotten a little bit better and you started hearing like, well, don't worry about what goes on in some of these, you know, uh, these padded practices and some of these uh, drills that were going on where offensive line was missing on plays. They weren't hitting on plays. The defense starts laughing. You, you, Mac Jones, at one point, there was a belief that the offense was looking better when Mac Jones wasn't running the offense in practice. All this with the backdrop of, backdrop of Mac Jones doesn't have a direct offensive coach that he can go to. And so th that's why I think tonight's game with the, with the Panthers is going to be so fascinating because – while Mac Jones didn't play in the first game, and, and I had a feeling about that. It was just like, look, why are we not getting the irons, you know, some of these kinks out in these preseason games instead of worrying about, like, you know, like showing your hand of play calling? Because it, with play calling, it's about the game management. And if you're Joe Judge and you oversaw the offense for the Giants that was 31st two straight years, and Matt Patricia was the head coach of the Lions, what screams offense out of these two guys? And so when when you had this going on and you had Mac Jones who had – let's just call it what it is. He was the best rookie last year and had a trajectory to to, to kind of improve or at least manage a chance for the Patriots. That's why I, the odds makers are still keeping the Patriots a chance of being the second-place finisher in the AFC East just strictly on what you saw last year. But tape comes out. You saw what happened those last last December games after the Bills game, you know, they just kind of shut down and the offense disappeared in a way. So I'm really concerned that there's nobody manning the growth of Mac Jones, which really is needed in his second year. Like imagine, like your let me think of your favorite recording artist, right? They have a great first album, but let's say for the second album, you're like, nah, we're not gonna have any of those producers. We're just gonna let them go in there and do their thing. In fact, we're going to bring in a couple of guys who've really never produced a record. How do you think the album's going to come out? And so that's the concern with Mac Jones, and that's why I think even with Vegas, you know, having the numbers at about eight and a half, there's no way. If you look at Brutal, their schedule is after the bye. I'm really closer. I'm leaning towards like five wins for this team. It's going to be pretty bad. KJ, I don't think I've heard anybody say that they really love the Patriots this season, which is wild because at the first – of last season, remember all those games in which Mac Jones looked like he was the second coming of Tom Brady? Remember that? Like, it's well, wild because to when think you're that, a, that wasn't when, that long ago. 
but that's because Cam Newton was the backdrop, right? It's really easy to look good when there's something really very ungood looking in front of you. Yeah, but didn't he go toe to toe with some good teams? Because I'm trying to think. I believe that they covered the spread, or they were very close to covering the spread against uh, who was it? The Cowboys and the Bucks. So I don't right. know where that team went, but we'll see about the Patriots because right now the consensus doesn't seem good. And at some point, I know Bill Belichick is this great coach, but you touched on this. At some point, we got to question what's going on with the offense because if it doesn't work the first few games of the season, you got to say something. You got to mix something up.